awesome people, I'm Ellie Awesome and today we'll be taking a look at the PlayStation 1, my childhood console and a console that paved the way for the way we game today. Ah, the original PlayStation. This is the gaming console that I spent many, many hours with as a child. My dad bought the console for himself and it got me really interested in gaming. However, because my mum was quite against video games, I was mostly steered towards playing outdoors as much as possible rather than playing with the PlayStation. So I was brought up to be pretty active and loved the outdoors, but whenever I could I was either watching my dad play his favourite games or playing the games myself. We never had a massive library of games, and my dad mostly bought racing games, but over time I got to play games such as Tekken, Crash Bandicoot, Croc, Klonoa, and Spyro, and they were some of my favourite games. Though I also remember my dad getting a lot of demo discs from PlayStation magazines, and from there I got to play games such as Parappa the Rapper, Jumping Flash, Wipeout, Destruction Derby, Battle Arena Toshinden, ESPN Games, Tomb Raider, and so, so many more. Considering Sony's great success with gaming consoles, it's quite funny to read the history and find that originally Sony thought that gaming consoles were just toys for kids and they had no interest in entering the gaming market. Back in the day, a few years before the PlayStation release, the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo were the two major players in the game console market. But when Sega announced the release of the Sega CD, it was a major threat to Nintendo's current system as CDs could hold more storage, about 600 megabytes, and could allow better sound and graphics. So would you believe it, Nintendo came to Sony for help to manufacture a CD drive for the Nintendo console, which resulted in a prototype called the PlayStation. But here's where it gets cray zay crazy. It's all going fine and well until Nintendo starts to have second thoughts. Sony wants to keep the rights of the CD technology and manufacture and distribute it, leaving Nintendo missing out on a chunk of profit. So Nintendo goes behind Sony's back and asks the brand Philips to work on a CD drive with them. Next thing you know, the Consumer Electronics Show rolls around. Sony doesn't know anything's wrong and actually ends up announcing the partnership with Nintendo, saying they're making a Nintendo PlayStation thing. <laughs> The next day, Nintendo publicly calls off the partnership with Sony and says, oh, sorry, we're actually going to work with that on Philips now. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Now, there was a man in Sony who was always a firm believer in Sony's ability to make a revolutionary game console, and he was working on manufacturing the CD drive with Nintendo. His name is Ken Kutaragi, and people actually refer to him now as the father of the PlayStation. So after the partnership with Nintendo went badly, he went and told the Sony CEO at the time, look, Nintendo just backstabbed us and I don't want to waste everything we've done, so let me make a full game console. Because of Nintendo's bad partnership, the CEO goes from being completely against the idea of making a console to, okay, do it. Now, there were still people in the company who did not think Sony was capable of making a successful game console. After all, they were entering a completely new market. However, Sony had that sweet CD technology and Ken Kutaragi who had a strong vision for success. It was still a struggle, however, because initially most game companies were afraid of developing 3D games when 2D games were the most popular and cheaper to develop at the time. But then one day Sega released Virtua Fighter in 3D in an arcade cabinet, and it was so successful that finally developers flocked to Sony and said, let's do this. The PlayStation was a console with 16.7 million colors, 360,000 textured polygons per second, CD quality sound, and a 32-bit CPU. It was going to be the fastest console on the market and had incredible 3D graphics. Sony released the PlayStation in 1994 in Japan and it was instantly popular, but it still had to successfully launch in the US and Europe. To ensure an awesome unveiling, it's believed Sony spent $4 million for marketing and a booth at E3 in 1995 for the PlayStation. And it was a hit. The PlayStation launched for $299 US, which was a very competitive price, and they marketed the console not as a toy for kids, but an entertainment platform for everyone. They had excellent games such as Ridge Racer, Battle Arena Toshinden, and later hits like Tekken and Crash Bandicoot, which pretty much became Sony's unofficial mascot. 
even the extremely popular Final Fantasy series changed consoles, moving from the later Nintendo 64 to the PlayStation because of storage capacity issues with cartridges. Once thought an extremely risky gamble by Sony executives, the success of the console led to the development of the PlayStation 2, 3, and now the PlayStation 4 is here. The company started off as an underdog in the gaming world and ended up owning half the market and sold 102 million units worldwide in its lifespan, which beat out every other console on the market at the time. So that brings me to some questions. Did you ever own or get to play on a PlayStation console? And if so, what were your favorite games? Please let me know in the comments. I'm a boss with Yoshimitsu on Tekken, <laughs> or at least I like to think that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button to let me know that you liked it. If you want to see more videos by me, make sure to click subscribe. I make new videos every week, and I'm open to video suggestions. My channel is generally focused on apps, but I also cover technology and gaming. Also, if you can share this video, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ellie Awesome, and hopefully I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like some of these videos on screen. My Game Boy Color documentary, my Polaroid Land camera documentary, or the history of the television. If you want to watch one of these and you're on the computer, you can click one of them, or you can find the links to the videos in the description. Doesn't seem to want to load up point blank. It's quite sad, because this is an awesome accessory. Man, I look white. You wanna play PlayStation? Are you ready? Round one. Fight! Fight! Get him! <laughs>